Hey guys, uh, this is Dr. Rupesh Daria, Palm Beach Internal Medicine. We're here today with Ella Wendy. Hi who's, everyone. Uh, going to get a little Botox done for her uh, for her face. So we're going to talk through a little bit of uh, how we do this and, and uh, how we make the patients comfortable. So first step is assessment, and we want to look at the resting face and his natural face in the light. Um, and Botox is used mainly for three areas. We have glabella right over here. The frontalis, and then we have the crow's feet. So divided into three sections. The muscle groups are different strengths. The frontalis is usually very strong. Um, crow's not so much, so we usually use a little bit more up here. Uh, but depends person to person. So first, we're going to mark up where we're going to put the injections. Um, as you can see, there are some lines here that I've drawn where she has some superficial veins. We want to make sure that. Uh, we don't hit any of these veins because it causes bruising for the next day. All right, so first let's have you turn this way, and we're going to have you make your angry face. I'm going to define some borders here. Perfect. And relax. And look straight at me. I'm going to show we can look to the pupil. And then about a centimeter above the orbital ridge. Angry, relax, angry, relax, angry, perfect, relax. All right, so we got that mapped out. Now we're going to map out the frontalis. So, wrinkle, surprise. We're going to go to the top border of the highest wrinkle up here. And then we're going to mark a line halfway between. And this is our this is our lower line and this is our middle line. So we're going to make a surprise look. Relax. And to go stay medial to the pupil so we don't drop the eye on the outside here. Shape of an upside down W. Okay. Um, we usually will inject just next to the marking so we don't tattoo the skin. All right, so now we're going to turn to the left and we're going to take a look here so we can see there are some veins over here. We want to avoid this plexus so we can avoid the bruising. Okay, give me a smile. Good, relax. Okay, the other, thing, other important thing is we want to stay above the zygoma because if we go below the zygoma, there's a chance that we can drop the corner of the mouth. So, okay, can you give me a smile? Good. Good. Go on this side over here. Same thing. Go to the zygoma here. So, give me a smile. So she has less on this side to do. She's a lot smoother over here. Look a little bit up here. Okay, nice and smooth. Okay, all right. So we use a, um, a 33 gauge needle, which is pretty much the thinnest needle that we can have. Anything uh, thinner than this is actually going to bend. So this way it doesn't cause the patient too much discomfort. Start right here. Are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start right here. We're going to inject just in the belly of the muscle. I'm trying to avoid any bruising. Okay, so far? Yep, all good. Good. Open the eyes for me for a sec, and we can do. Give me an angry, angry look. Relax. Angry. Okay, we'll put one right here. Good. All right, so 
we have a little glabella, a little bit more, but stay medial to the pupil again so that we don't drop the eyebrow out here. Good. All right, can you just make it angry? Just angry. relax? Very good, okay. All right, now we're going to start working on the frontalis a little bit, so strong muscle. We have a lot, we usually need a lot more than the men, than the women, because the muscles are stronger. Oh, really? Yeah, and in certain, certain ethnic groups like Italians, they have very strong frontalis muscles. So you need uh, 20 to 25, maybe up to 30 units to cover this area. But uh, we're going to go gently and we're going to then fine tune if we need to. So turn towards me. Good, and relax. Good, and again we're staying We're staying medial because we don't want to drop the eyebrow. She has very little fat, so we're making these big mosquito bites, but they go down pretty quickly. Okay, so now let's take a look. Let's have you do, again, the surprise. Let's see, so relax. Put a little bit way up high here. And surprise. Good. I like to mark the areas to delineate the muscle groups, but a lot of times when I'm working with the patient, um, if I see a wrinkle or a little bit of asymmetry in the muscle group, I can put a little bit more on one side than the other side. And so we have a little bit of a dynamic model as we're working along. And the pain is very minimum. Good. It's like, hmm, keep doing it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do some crows. Um, We've cleaned up all the other markings, so we have a little bit of a clearer visual. Um, a lot of times, patients will tend to sleep more on one side, than, more on one side than the other. So you're going to see kind of the more of a smoothness and less wrinkles on one side versus the other side. So this is an, a, a chance for us to balance out both sides here. So I'm going to do some close. Okay, so let me turn a little bit to that side. Okay, I want you to give me a smile and relax. Good. Okay. So, kind of working in a circular motion around the eye. Smile, relax to try to stay above the zygoma. Smile. Good, relax. Okay, let's go on the other side. We'll do the same thing over here. So, in order to minimize some of the pain, because the skin around the eye, eye is a little bit thin, I usually change out the needle for each eye so that there's less chance of the needle being blunt and less discomfort. Smile, relax. One more time. Right. Mm -hmm. One more. Relax. Perfect. Yay. All right, we didn't spell an ounce of water.
Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Perfect. So thank you for joining us and check out our Instagram page. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys.